a massive drill right there. We're at like 160 foot-pounds of torque. Just slaying this piece of steel. Since we're running dry, we decreased our feed rate from 11 inches a minute to 9 inches a minute. And what we ended up with was some super cool Christmas ribbons. GoPro's burning. What? Oh my god. Oh my god, look at how big those chips are. Oh. What the? It says here that 78.2% of you guys out there watching our content aren't subscribed. We just hit 500,000 subscribers and if you would have clicked subscribe, we'd probably already be at a million. It's not that hard. Do your part and click the subscribe button. Boom. Here we go. Take a look at those chips. They're turning gold, and that's money. So now we're starting off a dynamic tool path where we're stepping over over a half inch. That's 70% of our cutter diameter. So that's a 20 degree ramp angle right there, which is pretty incredible in stainless steel. with the RV3, getting all the material off. Boom, boom, boom. Just dropped down, took some weight off of this thing. And now that I'm flipping down, I switch to a TE because I'm gonna start dropping down into these pockets and the TE is great for ramping. spherical. Take a look at this, you can see that the sphere can't come out of any side of the cage. It's trapped within its cage.
Let me get this in a position that is presentable. All right, so check it out. First, we did the ball in the box. You guys wanted to see more, so we took the ball and put it in a box inside of another ball. If you're looking for tooling, check out the Titans of CNC store. We're running a sale right now on the three inch Dodeca shell mill. We're sold out of the two inch, and we're also running a sale on the next generation Heimer 3D sensor. And these sales are only available at store.titansofcnc.com. This part, man. Oh man, it's beautiful. What's up, Barry? What's up? Oh man, SVM 4100, 700 inches a minute with the Core 5 from Kenna Metal. So you, can, you can see it running right there. When you come over here and you can see, even when it takes the corner, how fast it gets up to speed. And yeah, shred it! That's it, like, the Core 5 has the little chip splitters, makes the small chips. You go full depth, small radial. By the way, we have them on our store, titansofcnctooling.com. Best prices on the internet, best prices anywhere. Boom, check it out. Just want to give you guys an actual view of how big this part actually is. So one, two, three block, we can pop it over here, boom. And then show you the entire part.
The cuts we're gonna be doing are pretty crazy and it really needs that coolant. talking to my dad and he wants me to do one more cut. I wasn't planning on doing it. I'm gonna take one more cut, but I'm gonna crank up the SFM to 1,000 and I'm gonna crank up the feed rate from 20 thousandths per revolution to 24 thousandths. That's insane. I'm actually kind of worried if the tool can do it or not. I really hope that this works. I barely got to hear it cut, but the part looks great. It's got a rough finish, but no chatter. It didn't sound bad cutting. The tool looks great. I could probably do that cut some more. I wouldn't recommend it though. By using ceramics, we can increase our surface footage dramatically, which is going to increase our metal removal rate and decrease our cycle time. So as you can see, even with a 75,000 step down, the blades came out beautiful and I couldn't be more happy with it. 